Hi, this is Roy again. Today I will show you how to do the square root of decimal numbers. Let's go to the whiteboard. Now let's see how to do the square root of a decimal number by division method. So uh, for example the number taken is 147.1369. So what is the procedure? Like normal division methods, I have uh, taken this uh, number in the format which is required. 147.1369. I put this mark and make it ready for solving. So, one thing is important here, the pairing system. Before the decimal number, the pairing system is as the previous one from the left hand side we will make the pair here 47 is one pair and 1 is alone so it is forming one pair for the numbers beyond the decimal point the pairing will start from the left hand side that is this one will be the first pairing and this one the second pairing so 13 is the first pairing and 69 is the second pairing if anything other number is there say there is a 3 a zero will be taken with this and a pair will be formed by like this after that. So this number is not here. So we will not consider this one. Now what is to be done next? 1. 1 square is 1. So I have taken 1. 1 into 1, 1. So no reminder. 1 plus 1 it is added to 2. Now the next number is 47. I have put this number here. So... Uh, what will be the next squaring number? So 2 is the next number with which it is multiplied by uh, 2 to give the 44 as a next number. So 44 is the next decimal number. Then here comes the subtraction. Subtraction of 47 minus 44 is 3. So after Putting 3 over here, I have to add these two numbers. 22 plus 2 is this 24. This digit is written after bringing this decimal point number. Now, what is important? When I am bringing this decimal number down over here, at the same time, Sireplan does put this decimal number here in the quotient portion where the square root is being written. Okay. Now, 241, let's have a rough work. 241, there is blank. I have to bring something within 313. Three. So 241 into 1 is 241. If it is multiplied with 2, it will be more than 400. So that, that will not be considered. So I have given 1 over here. So 241 into 1 gives 241. The remainder is 72. I have put 1 over here and 1 over here. Okay. Now 72 is there. I brought down 69. The next or the last pair. The number becomes 7269. Here it is. 242. Two. These two digits are not, not there. Now similarly, I will find out what will be the next digit. 242. Two. What will be the next digit? So it is multiplied with the same digit. to find something which is less than or equal to 269 so 9 is the last digit so it can be 3 or that is the most possible thing so let's put 3 and find the calculation 3 3 is a 9 3 2 is a 6 3 4 is a 12 to 1 in hand 3 to the 6 7 so it is matching so 3 will be here I will multiply with 3 and I will put 3 over here. Okay. So 3 into 2423 2, gives 7269. So it ends over here. So my answer is 12.13. I have got it from here. So this is how we can do the square root of any decimal number. So you can do it now. Let's give a try to the following numbers. Okay, so let's write it down in the notebook. Find the square root of 27.359. Okay, next 
65.9344 third one is 643.1296 and the last one is 146.991376 okay have you written it down okay after this let me try to show you how to find the square root of say a number is 0 0.50437 up to 4 decimal place let me do it in the whiteboard for your convenience so let's go to the whiteboard now again this is the square root of a decimal number by division method the number taken is 0 0.50437 and it is written in the format as before okay now let's start the pairing is done from the left hand side this is one pair this is another and seven the, as there is nothing I put zero over here okay now uh, before the decimal number it is not, not nothing so zero it is there now 50 came down descended from here to here so 7 squared is 49 so I put 7 over here 7 in the quotient place and 49 in the dividend place subtracted I got 1 now 43 get descended and put over here now I have added 7 plus 7 14 so the digit that can be divisible is 1 if I put 1 over here 1 into 1 141 if I put 2 it will exceed this amount so 1 is the number which is required over here so I put 1 over here 1 into 141 is 141 remainder is 2 now the 70 is descended from here to here the number is 270 now look here 141 plus 1 is 142 now if if it is a 3, a three digit number 270 is a 3 digit number now if I put any digit over here it will become a 4 digit number and here we have only 3 digit number so it will not be divided so what we do in division we put a 0 here we have to put 2 zeros so I have plus 2 zeros over here the number becomes 27,000 now as in division for every 0 we put one zero over here I also added one zero over here and here okay now again the same process 14201 into 1 gives 14201 like that I have subtracted the number is 12799 here it is 1420 1 plus 1 2 now the next number that can be divisible by it is putting a 9 as a 9 I have made in the rough work this 9 is matching with this 9 9 is a 181 1 and this is 1 2 7 8 2 6 1 again a reminder is coming like 1 2 7 so my question was here to find a square root up to 4 decimal place so I have to uh, go till 5 decimal places so the number is 0 0.7101 9 1 2 3 4 5 decimal places so the 4 decimal place square root number will be 0 0.7102 so this is my answer okay so you have learned this process also now give a try to these two numbers find the square root of 0. 37261 and the square root of 0 0.81423 I am sure you can do it now so if any problem arises write to me thank you and bye bye